People are sleeping on pole B2 in PvP, and since you're watching this video, you're about to be wide awake. This video is going to showcase some of the most disrespectful combos in the game. In this video, you're learning the ins and outs of pole V2, how crazy of a combo sword this thing is, and of course, some secrets on how to counter it, so that if your 30 million bounty friend starts using this after seeing you kill him with it, you'll make him alt F4 immediately. On this channel, we focus purely on the PvP aspects of Blocks Fruit, so watch a different video on how to get pole V2. This channel is all about getting into the nitty gritty, the deep details, and the nerd stuff. So let's go. Hyper J recently did a video on pole V2, and I thought the timing couldn't have been more perfect, because I've been cooking up this video for a while. I asked my Discord if they thought we should do pole V2 or CDK in the next video, and the community has spoken. So if you want to influence our videos or the next breakdown, jump in the Discord and vote. I used this sword way back in the day before the reworks, similar to Dragon Trident, and it was such a strong combo sword. The rework has brought so many changes to some old swords, but pole V2 stays pretty true to the original design. Unlike Dragon Trident, after covering some more mobile swords, it took a little bit of time to get used to this sword. But once this thing hits and you get your opponents into a combo, they're toast. Let's cover some pros to the sword. The combo potential is insane with Pole V2. I'll dive into it a bit more later, but Pole V2X lets you do some disrespectful combos. It has Ken breaks for days. Range wise, it's very strong short to mid range, and it still actually works against rubber users, even though it's a lightning sword. Cons wise, there's a few issues. It has no real mobility moves, so you have to rely on dashing or other moves for mobility. The range takes a bit of getting used to, to be honest. The Z goes pretty far, but the X is so much shorter, so you have to get used to the range. It relies a lot on direct hits to Ken Break and can be Ken Tricked at certain ranges. And finally, you'll see that even though this sword is an insane combo sword, Pole V2X's vacuum has a weakness that I can't wait to tell you about. Remember, the new enchantments are with Ghoul. The numbers are always subject to change. So keep in mind of the base cooldowns, and they could differ anywhere from plus or minus two to three seconds. With that in mind, let's get it. Pole V2Z. Pole V2Z sends out three lightning beams strike at the mouse cursor, dealing damage to anyone in the blast radius and stunning them for about 0.7 seconds. This move has a base cooldown of about 9 seconds, and when you cast the move, you're stuck in the animation for about half a second, so you're vulnerable but not for long. The range on this move is fairly far. Here's Sky Castle's grid for reference, and that range is also the same when vertically cast. If you swipe your mouse cursor, the three lightning beams will each drop one after another, letting you possibly hit multiple areas at once. Overall, move is a solid combo starter, or even extender. It has a decent range, so I found some success using it to punish a whiffed move, and then follow up with something like Flash Step Pull V2X, or even Portal Z, Kitsune F, anything that closes space really well. This move does break instinct, but only on a direct hit. Sometimes even the splashes don't break instinct. The behavior is not super precise. Sometimes the AoE strike does break instinct, sometimes not, but a direct hit will always break instinct. You can use this move during your combo to break their instinct, or catch them in motion as it stuns them in place. Otherwise, it's a decent combo starter at range if you read their dash or punish a whiffed move. As an extender, this move is great. Great, it combos from God Human C, but it's hard to follow up at that range. I landed a nice God Human C into pole V2Z combo in this clip, but I hit it from the air, so he didn't go as far forward, and it's an easy follow up. So you can use that technique if you hit a God Human C from up above. Instead, I prefer to use this move after a stun move, like Portal Z, Rumble X, or Kitsune X. Defense wise, while a direct hit breaks instinct, an indirect hit does not. When you see them pull out pole V2 at mid range, they're most likely going to use this move because it's much longer range than pole V2X. Anticipate the move and dodge with the dash or flash step and punish. Just be careful though, and keep track of their flash step cooldown to make sure they're not going to flash step pull V2X. This move has a short cooldown though of only 9 seconds, so I anticipate that they're going to spam this move fairly often, depending on their playstyle. So quick recap, if they pull the pull out at mid to long range, anticipate the move, dodge, and punish. And while Z is a strong move, the ability to disrespect your opponent comes from pull V2X. Pull V2X sends out a ball of lightning that breaks instinct on hit and vacuums any users in the small area towards the center. If you get hit, get ready to be stunned for about 2 seconds. After those 2 seconds, the ball explodes and sends opponents away a super short distance. It's got a base cooldown of about 13.5 seconds, and when you cast it, you're stuck in the animation for about 0.8 seconds or so. The range of this move is not far, it's much more close to mid-range at best, and it's much shorter than pull V2Z. This move is busted, because it's similar to Dragon Trident X, but the vacuum is much more controlled, letting you get some crazy combos that include M1s. Anytime you can M1 an opponent, and you're not Buddha, Kitsune, or T-Rex, you can either call that disrespect or combo optimization. Remember, in a tournament setting, we don't care about M1s or suspicious kills. A kill is a kill, and a W is a W. Since Pole V2X stuns for two seconds and breaks instinct, it's a perfect time to use M1s in your combo. I'll go over one with God Human, but you should have time to do at least two M1s on the ground if you're next to the opponent in your combo. On top of that, Pole V2X does a great job at keeping your opponent predictably in place. If they get hit, they're staying wherever they are and getting pulled in slowly. So if your opponent has downloaded your combo, you can use this move at close to 
mid range to replace a normal cannibal move for this move instead. That way, when your opponent times their Ken, they instead get their Ken broken by pull V2X. The important concept of using mix-ups is called adaptation. We'll cover that in more depth in our new general 1v1 video that's coming soon, but for now, give it a try and get creative with your combo. Defense-wise, this does break Ken, but only on a direct hit, so it may be worth it to try an instinct dodge if there's a good chance your opponent's going to miss or misjudges the range and is too far. One thing we discovered though during testing is if you don't get hit by the initial animation, walking into the ball of lightning is going to pull you in. However, here it is, your official Blocks Root Bandit's tip. If you turn your Ken on and dodge through the ball lightning or even use a mobility move like God Human Z, you can actually hit your opponent without getting stunned at all. Your opponent might try to hide behind or inside this move, but if they do, no, they're not safe and you can punish them. Just make sure to press E first before you attempt to go into the lightning. As you'll see in the PvP section of this video, people get scared of this move and try to avoid it. And we're telling you, do the opposite. Don't let these new Pole V2 users get away with hiding in their lightning. Press E, punish them. Now, super quick recap on the defenses. You can try an instinct dodge if they have a good chance to miss, but if you don't get hit with the initial animation, turn on your instinct and dive right into the pole V2X and attack them with some type of movement move and you are golden. All right, let's move on to enchantments. As a gun main, strong grip has been really solid and I'm kind of a believer in strong grip now. Pole V2 is great for combos, so I like the extra damage. You could go with unreal here too if you prefer the shorter cooldown as a blocks fruit or a gun main, but remember you're sacrificing like 2000 damage for about 2.8 seconds of cooldown reduction on X at the most. So it's up to you if you think it's worth it. As a sword main, sharpshooter has been nerfed, but in my opinion, 10% damage for 20% longer cooldowns is not worth it when you can just go masterpiece for a 5% damage buff, which is only 5% less, for an 8% cooldown reduction. Blessing wise, I like C or Frozen. Both of these do a good job in 1v1 to either reduce their health regen to basically zero or reduce their movement speed by a lot. If they rely on dashing to get out of your move, it'll be much harder for them to get away. If you're a sword main though, burning does a decent chunk of extra damage, so that might be worth, especially with the multiple hits of pull V2X. Combo one Wise, this sword is incredible. We're going to cover a few combos just to give you some exposure, but please, I encourage you to get creative. A lot of people in the comments have posted much better combos. Remember, we talk about the PvP applications of these swords. Combos are a secondary benefit. In this case, the combos are incredible, so I encourage you to get creative. But here's a few combos if you're not feeling that creative. I have two god human combos for you. The first one starts off with a stun move. We use Rumble X here into pull V2Z and then pull V2X close up M1 twice. God human X, god human Z, god human C for the kill. An alternate combo. I talked about earlier. Start up in the air and aerial charge God Human C into pull V2Z immediately into pull V2X. Then from there, you could do your God Human X into God Human Z for the kill. Now for Sanguine, if you snipe them with Sanguine C, they're in range for pull V2X. Use that, then Sanguine Z, and depending on the timing, that might just burn their instinct. Then do pull V2Z, then Sanguine X for the finisher. Now PvP wise, let's move on to some PvP and we're doing something different again. Instead of a tournament set, I'm going to show you some highlights from 1v1s so we can showcase a few cool people in the community. Starting off with Pop C, it's been a while since he was on these breakdowns. He catches me at the start with a Soul Guitar X and misses his follow-up, which we will take. He's an aggressive player when he gets an initial hit, so I throw a Pole V2X right at the ground, and what do you know, he walks right into it. Easy Portal Z combo into a Sidon Rifle for the kill. Important takeaway here is even though Pole V2X can be instinct dodge when missed, you can use it as a trap to deny space, and if they're overly aggressive and don't know the tricks, you can punish them. Next up is Pearl. Now these were some friendly, casual 1v1s, so don't get too critical here, but it shows the power of Pole V2 very well, which is why I I included this clip. I use pull V2X to deny space and it scares Puro, since Puro doesn't know the instinct trick yet. I get aggressive and try to predict with pull V2Z, but Puro stays back, so I've got some cooldowns to manage. Puro aggressively jumps on my space, but I remember this because this is going to be important. But I portal Z flick to hit into God Human X and charge C. I hit, but the Sidum M1 does not connect. I hide in portal X to get Puro to waste some cooldowns, but I remember Puro's flash step from last time. And I throw my pull V2X on the ground and wouldn't you know it, it connects and so does my combo. GG's. These next two, Frog's back. He's using ice for this first one. Sorry, Box. I hit with pull V2Z into my Portal Z combo, but he lives and actually cans both God Human Z and my missed pull V2X. He Soul Guitar X's to gain composure and some HP back, and I try to predict with a couple hits, but he jumps right over me, and I kind of suck, so I miss. I know he's low, and he plays a bit more passive and shoots for a flash step combo with V at this percent, so I flash step instead and catch him with pull V2X. Sanguine Z puts him in a weird spot, so I extend the stun with Portal X into Z, into the kill, and pull V2X for the third time gets us a kill. It's a bit of a trend here. Yeah. One more with Frog, and he's Quake this time. He loves his Quake V, so I'm ready. I catch him with a lucky Portal X en route, and he charges his Quake V in response. With the power of Pole V2, I stay out of the range, hit with Pole V2Z into Portal Z into my bread and butter, but instead, I replace God Human Z with Pole V2X, mixing up my sequence, breaking his can, and taking the W, very important when they learn your habits 
You have to be able to adapt on the fly, and Pulp E2X is like baby's first adaptation sword and does a great job at replacing a close to mid-range move in your combo. Last one is Myth, crazy portal grav cane user. He catches me with Soul Guitar Z, and I like this move because it teaches me a lot about my opponent and how they approach. He uses portal into Gravity Cane X, but he's way too short, so I reposition to the right. I approach, and we stay at about mid-range of each other, and he Soul Guitar Xs, so I'm anticipating a Gravity Cane Z from where I'm blinded. I see the portal F and try to pull V2X, but no luck here. Portal X battles though are the worst and we come out safely, but he gets a nice gravity cane Z, so I pop V3, but that makes him miss Sanguine Z somehow. I retaliate with the free God Human Z. He hits me in the portal Z into gravity cane X, but I made the gravity cane video, bro. And just like that, I can trick at this range, pull V2X turns the tables, and this is a perfect example of practicing what the f you preach because that literally costs him the game. GG's myth. Pull V2 is as useful as ever nowadays. And I'm glad that Hyper J showed it some love. Go check out Hyper J if you haven't. I'd be shocked if you've never seen his content. And say hi from the Blocks for Bandits. Remember, you can use Pull V2Z to get nice mid-range stuns, but even better, Pull V2X lets you disrespect your opponents with some M1s in your combo, or at the very least, helps you mix up your normal combo game by keeping them in place while you emote dance before they die. And that's the breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. If you missed something cool, let us know in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more. As always, each video has a perm proof giveaway, so if you're here for that, leave a comment and you might win. And we'll update the pinned comment to show who won in that video. See you next time for the next deep dive.